term gay or bisexual is a sort of human term, but we do see a lot of same-sex pairings of different species, including penguins, um, where uh, animals of the same sex, uh, species of the same sex, will, will pe form pair bonds together, um, and they can spend up to their entire lives living together um, in harmony. So we have three same-sex pairings um, within our colony, and uh, these are male birds that are together and they live together. We do have one pair, Ronnie and Reggie, um, that actually have reared a chick of their own. They, they um, an abandoned egg was um, given to them, the chick was given to them, and they reared it, and the, the offspring is currently living with the colony on Penguin Beach now. While animals can have same-sex relationships or pair bonds, um, they don't become uh, homophobic because that's a human uh, uh, problem. And animals don't tend to react in the same way um, when animals form same-sex pair bonds. They are generally well accepted within the colony or within the community. When you talk about some of the mammal species, there's examples, particularly in primates closest to humans, the things like macaque monkeys, where they will engage in sexual activity um, with members of the same sex and probably the most famous well-known is the bonobo, which is a, a relative of the chimpanzee, which is very, very widely known and widely studied for having regular sex between um, both females and males um, and, you know, doing that on a regular basis purely for pleasure rather than any other kind of um, understood scientific reason. Other mammals um, will also engage in same-sex uh, relationships, so um, some of the cats, particularly lions, are known to uh, mount and copulate each other during um, uh, periods of pair bonding, but also probably more well-documented are some of the domestic animals, including cattle and sheep. It's well-documented that a number of species of insects, particularly after they first hatch or metamorphosize, will, will mate with individuals of their own sex. And we see that in things like fruit flies and certain beetle species. Um, birds are very well known for pair bonding, and birds usually, many long-lived species such as albatross and swans, as well as penguins, will pair for life. And if there aren't um, enough individuals of the opposite sex, they will often choose a member of the same sex because that instinct, that, that need to bond with another individual is very, very strong.